Hey folks, Todd Colburn here with your Aerospace Structure Series. This video is on bending, and now we're going to focus on the equation that you should memorize for bending analysis. So the basic bending formula that you need to have as a part of your daily speech is MC over I. The stress is equal to the moment times C over I, where C is the distance from the centroidal axis. We can actually, in my book, in all the lectures, I focus on a more precise definition of C, where C is just the Y position of any point minus the Y bar of the section. But the way we generally remember this in industry is the stress is MC over I. And actually, while you can follow rigorous application of the right-hand rule to nail this with just the a uh, careful application of a more detailed formula, such as I laid out in my handbook. If you can remember this basic formula, MC over I, and the idea that C is the distance from the centroidal axis to the point in question, then you should be able to nail your problems. Also being able to recognize which part is in tension compression or compression. For example, if we have a rectangular section with a moment like this, this is actually a right hand uh, if we follow a right-hand rule, this would be a positive moment. MC over I says, if, for example, if we want to get the stress, and usually we're just looking at the maximum and the minimum stress, right? The maximum stress, whether positive or negative. We can see the max tension is going to be the top of this section by inspection. And if we wanted to calculate the stress on top of the section, we would say, okay, stress is MC over I. C is the distance from the centroidal axis. In this particular case, M is MX, the moment about the x-axis, and therefore I is IX. If we have MX acting about the x-axis, then I will be I about the x-axis as well. So M and I are both about the x-axis. The C value is the vertical position perpendicular to that axis, which in this case is Y minus Y bar. So if we want the stress at the top, you'd plug in a value of y at the top of the section. So if the total section is h, and this is rectangle, therefore symmetric, therefore the y bar is at h over 2, then your c would be h minus h over 2, which is just h over 2. You plug that in for c, mc over i for this right-hand rule gives you a positive stress at the top as it should be. If instead you wanted the stress at the bottom, you'd plug in the c value to the bottom from the neutral axis, that's below the centroid, that's going to be a negative value where you plug in a value of 0 minus y bar, which is h over 2, gives you a negative h over 2, which also fixes your sign and shows that the stress is just mc over i. If we have a more complicated section, for example, a built-up section, now if these two parts were different materials, then we would need to use our, uh, our lecture where we have uh, bending of, for multiple materials, for composite sections, or sections made of more than one material. But if these are the same material, then actually we can just treat these, since they're fastened together, once we verify that that fastener can carry the load, as we find out in later lectures, we can just analyze, we calculate the section properties of the entire section, treating it as one, we apply our formula. If we want to know the maximum tension stress, that would be on the uppermost surface, where C is the total height of the section minus the Y bar of the section. M and I are both about the x-axis, because our moment is about the x-axis, therefore I should be about the x-axis. MC over I. If we wanted the stress on the bottommost surface, then C is actually negative uh, Y bar. So M negative H over 2 over I gives us a compression stress on the bottom. If we want the stress anywhere else, we just plug in the C value relative to the centroid of that point. Another more complicated section is this one. Once again, these are fastened together. We can treat it as one if the two materials are the same. MC over I will give you the stress at any point. And same thing here, MC over I. Treat these two fasteners as being sufficient until we learn how to deal with those. And that's how we do it. If we get a more complicated section like a, section, like a frame section shown here, once again, MC over I. If the 
moment is in the other direction, you can just use this equation also. M is again a moment about the x-axis. In this case, right-hand rule says moment is negative. Or you can just reason it out. I've got a moment going this way, so if my position is up here, I better have a negative stress, take a negative sign in front of it. And if it's down here, my plane is down here, I should have a positive in front of it for that particular moment. So that is how we deal with uh, bending. We covered in our video a more rigorous application of these equations. P over A plus MC over I about one axis plus MC over I about another axis where we carefully follow right-hand rule and also have some examples following beam sign convention. But if you just remember that the stress is MC over I and reason out can recognize which part is in tension or compression, top or bottom, you can just plug in the absolute value of the C, that position from the centroidal axis, and just plop down a sign of stress that's consistent with the application, the direction of the moment. This equation, MC over I, is known by all industry professionals and structures. All the good analysts and all the bad analysts all know this equation. So you should also make sure that you know this, MC over I,